Hey guys, this is David Wunderlich, and with this video, I'm going to be highlighting the biggest challenge for the Florida offensive line, which is Mississippi State defensive tackle Jeffrey Simmons. He is usually lined up in the middle, number 94, and on this play, he's right there, and he is a tremendous challenge. So on this play, and this is Kentucky's first drive, this is right at the beginning of the game, he is going to just bull rush the center. Go forward a little bit, there's the snap, and he just pushes the center back couple of yards by default. This is about as good as you're going to get one-on-one -on -one with Simmons. He is going to get into the backfield if he wants to get into the backfield. The big thing that the center does is he just keeps him occupied and is kind of pushing him off this way, which allows the running back to have a lane to go over to the right. So Benny Snell is able to escape to the right and get some good positive yardage but Jeffrey Simmons still got well into the backfield, and that's just going to happen with him going up against Nick Buchanan. Here's another play on the same drive. Simmons is over on this edge, and instead of going directly at the center, he is going to try to get between the guard and the tackle, and he's going to be able to do that. We go forward on this play a little bit. You can see him there. There he goes, goes outside of the guard, and gets right by him, and Benny Snell is not able to get a hand on him, and it flushes Terry Wilson out of the pocket, and he ends up having to throw the ball away. Here's what it looks like in real time. Simmons is really powerful and really fast, so sometimes he can use his power like he did on the first play, and sometimes he can use his speed like he did on the second play. Here's the last play of the drive, and Simmons is once again lined up right in the middle against the center, and he is going to use a swim move to get past the center, between the center and the guard, and get into the backfield to help collapse the pocket. We go forward a little bit, there he goes, and he gets into the backfield, right past the center. And so now the left guard, who is being pretty alert on this play, is going to come over and help, as well as the running back is going to come over and help. And there he goes. Simmons has been so disruptive that there now have to be one, two, three Wildcats dedicated to trying to hold him off. And because there is so much attention being paid to Simmons, the outside rusher is only one-on-one, -on -one, and he's going to get close to Terry Wilson and force him to make a throw. So there's the outside rusher getting to him, Wilson has to get rid of it, and it's a terrible underthrow. So here's what this looks like in real time, with Simmons taking up the attention of three different people, leaving a one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, and forcing a bad throw from the quarterback. Mississippi State only rushed three on that play, but because Jeffrey Simmons is so good and so disruptive, it still caused pressure on the quarterback. There are plenty of other good plays from Simmons throughout the rest of the game. Here he is lined up in the middle again. This is in the third quarter, and he's just going to push the center back again, force Benny Snell to pop it to the outside. But there are other guys there, and so he ends up getting stopped for a loss. He couldn't go where he wanted to because Simmons was too far in the backfield. That's just a really good job of Simmons getting penetration into the backfield, getting good leverage on the center, and just pushing him right back. I could continue doing this for plenty of more plays, but I'm just going to stop it right there. That gives you an idea of what kind of challenge Jeffrey Simmons is going to be. And if you've watched the middle of Florida's offensive line, you know that they've had trouble with blocks at times. So a lot of the answer to the question of how good Florida's offense can be will come down to how well the center, Nick Buchanan, and the guards, whoever they are, can deal with Jeffrey Simmons up the middle.